What's up guys, Ghost here and today I have another hardware review for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at a brand new desk I just bought myself. Now you guys know how I am whenever I get a new piece of hardware, a peripheral or indeed a new desk. I like to do a little review of it, let you guys know just how I'm getting on with it. So if you came here thinking you were going to see some nice tank gameplay, sorry to disappoint but I fooled you. We're going to be doing a review of the desk and I'm going to be cutting in a little while to some pictures of it. Now, I found this desk walking around Ikea, and when I saw it, sat down and tried it, I just had to have it, and it is definitely the first gaming desk that I've ever had. Now, as you can see, it's pretty damn big, and it's also pretty expensive. I think it cost around £200 or $300, so by no means is it a low-budget desk, you know. It's only really for somebody who's willing to pay quite a bit of money for it, but once I tried it, I just, I couldn't not buy it, you know what I mean? Prior to this, I was using a pretty crappy desk. I mean, I'm not even sure you can call it a desk. It was just more of a table. I couldn't fit my chair underneath it. The table was far too high for it. And, you know, after gaming and recording videos and all the stuff I do on the computer, for hours on end, it was actually giving me back problems. So that was part of the reason I decided to buy this new desk. And as you can see, it has this little cutout in the middle. And that is definitely one of the best features of the desk. You can roll any chair under there. And believe me, I have a big ass chair with huge arms. And I'm even able to roll that thing under there. So it should be no problem for anyone, no matter what chair you have. It also has this huge board. I mean, this huge surface of a table just for your mouse and keyboard. And actually, the picture doesn't do it justice. It it dwarfs it a little bit, it is absolutely huge, you have so much room, and to me, I really like the freedom to be able to move around, move my keyboard wherever I want, have a huge ass mouse pad, and um, yeah, just have some space, you know what I mean, I think every gamer enjoys that. Another feature it has is a separate shelf to put your monitors on, and this is important because your monitors are really supposed to be a little bit above your head level, or really your eyes are supposed to meet the center of the monitor so for most people who have their monitors at the same level as their keyboard their eye level is most likely to be above the monitor on top of that it just keeps them out of the way of your hands while you're gaming and you can fit two 24 inch monitors in there i actually have a 22 inch and a 19 inch so as you can see i have plenty of room but according to the specifics of the desk you can fit two 24 inch monitors you can even fit a 32 inch tv if you remove the shelf up above now this thing even has cup holders on either end of the table as you can see so if you wish to use those you can personally i don't because i think i will be that much more likely to actually knock whatever was in there over rather than just putting it on the table itself so as you can see in addition to the shelf with the monitors there's also a shelf on top of the unit with changeable height so i think that's always a nice addition you're able to just sort of bung all your crap up on top of there you know I think everybody has just loads of things on their gaming desk that they sort of just end up collecting there. And it's really nice to actually have an extra place just to sort of, you know, any crap that gets in the way, just stick it up there on top of the shelf and you don't have to worry about it. It also has a panel on the left and the right of the monitors. So the idea behind these panels is to actually shield the monitors from sunlight. So if you have a window to the left or to the right of the desk and there's sunlight streaming in through there, it shouldn't really be shining on your monitor and, and causing problems for you. I mean, especially for people who say live with their parents and their parents are like, hey, I don't want you to close the window or close the blinds or whatever, that might be um, something to look for. If we take a quick look underneath the desk here, you can see I have my uh, PC on one of the little shelves down here. There's also one on the left, um, and you can choose to put your PC on the right or the left. So right about there, you can see the sort of margin of height for how big a tower you can have. I've got a pretty medium tower. It's you know nothing special really. Um, and I'm just choosing to have it on the right here because I have the ventilation fans uh, on my case on the left side. So that's the reasoning behind that. But you can choose, of course, to have it on either the left or the right. Now, something that isn't pictured here are two extra shelves that I personally choose not to attach to the desk. So where those sun panels are at the top there, you can actually attach two small shelves, one at either end. And those are designed, I believe, for a surround sound system. So it just gives you the option to be able to distribute your speakers a little bit later if, uh, sorry, a little bit better if you have a surround sound system. Personally, I don't, and I use headphones 99% of the time. So that's why I didn't bother actually attaching the shelves. I just thought they would be in the way. But if you have a surround sound system, then that is definitely a really nice asset. 
So all in all, I'm really happy with this desk. Like I mentioned before, not really the cheapest investment, but if you're looking for a desk that is all about gaming and you know, that is what you spend a lot of time doing and you really want to be comfortable. You want to be able to get your chair in there, have plenty of room for your keyboard and mouse, have your monitors out of the way, um, have plenty of room to keep everything, then this is definitely a great investment. I am happy with it. Um, so if you're thinking about looking at getting a gaming desk, you can find this in IKEA. I'll link you guys uh, to it down below and you can go check it out yourself. Alright, that's about going to wrap this one up guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you did then please hit that like button down below, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time, cheers.